Today I'm going to be talking about a new brush set from Real Techniques, and that is the Brow Set. And in here you get five different things, three of which are brushes, and two of which are tweezers. You get a detailing tweezer, which is one of those really pointy, sharp tweezers, but these are great for getting really close to the brows and being very exact with the brow hair you want to pull out. Then you get a regular set of angled tweezers, which these are actually smaller than the ones that I own already. These are the ones that I had from Sephora, I believe. Yeah. And then these are the Real Techniques ones. So the head on the tweezers is a lot smaller, which is a lot better for brows. I definitely like the angled slanted tweezers, whatever you want to call them. But these are kind of big for brows. I prefer using these for um, putting on fake eyelashes. But I do use them to pluck my brows as well. But this one makes it so much easier because it is just a little bit smaller. Then in here you get three different brushes. I put it in quotes because really the only brush you get is the slanted brow brush. And the other two aren't really brushes. So like I said, you get a slanted brow brush. You get this slanted arch definer, which is like a sponge tip applicator. And I didn't use this today. I'm going to have to figure out what to use this with. I feel like a product like this is more better, is more better, is better to use with powder products. And that's not what I used today. I used my Anastasia Dip Brow today. But I will definitely have to try using like my Urban Decay Brow Box or something like that with this product, so you won't see this in action because I need to figure out how to use it. But then you also get a, a you also get a slanted spoolie. Real Techniques did have a brow brush beforehand. This is it right here, and it's just called the brow brush, and it is quite a thick brush. I really do like this brow brush, to be completely honest, because if I'm in a hurry and just need to fill in my brows really quickly with powder or something like that, and I don't really care about being precise, I just want them filled in, this is great for that. But as you can see, this one is so much smaller. Um, it's very thin compared to this one as well. Let me try to hold them the same way. So this one is very thin compared to the old one as well, and it's also got that little crook in it. The only thing I really don't like about this brush is that the spoolie is completely separate and I just can't like flip it over and use the spoolie like I can with the brow brush I have been using. This is my old brow brush and this is from Sephora. It's just a dual ended brush. It doesn't really have a name other than brow filler and brow spoolie. But this is what I use and I really like this brush. This is also a synthetic hair brush. I think I prefer these two brushes to this, to be completely honest. But before I start talking about that, let's go ahead and get into the demo and you guys can watch that. As you can see, my brows aren't done and that is because you know we are reviewing slash first impressioning the new Real Techniques brow set. This just came out, like I just saw this on Instagram and then when I was at Kohl's the other day, I was like, oh, and I immediately purchased it. Uh, on the back of the package, it's got all the tools that come in it and a little description of how to use them. If you want to, you can go to the Real Techniques, not Pixie Woo, but the Real Techniques YouTube channel and they post tutorials about how to use all of their brushes and everything. Let's go ahead and open this up. And if you're not familiar with the Real Techniques brush sets, they all come with a like carrying case. The ones that come with the face brushes are black, but this one is white. I am not I don't like that this is white, um, just to be completely honest, because I feel like traveling with this, it would get very dirty very quickly. But the thing that I like about these is they fold over, and then there's a drawstring. So you can stand this up like this on your makeup desk, or if you're working on somebody, you can stand this up and have it all just ready right there. And it's also got a couple other 
places where you could in reality stick other brushes if you're traveling with these. I have like three or four of these that came with kits and I travel with these everywhere. I travel my brushes inside of these. They're hard so they keep the brushes nice and safe. So in here you get a set of angled tweezers, detailing tweezers, a spoolie brush, a slanted arch definer which is like a sponge tip applicator. I'm not 100% sure on how to use that and then a slanted angled brow brush. So I have done absolutely nothing to my brows today, so I'm actually going to go in and see if there is any areas of my brows that I need to tweeze. So I'm just gonna use the angled tweezers first. So normally before I put my makeup on, I will go through and just kind of groom my brows. I get my brows done very seldomly and in between that I just maintain them but there are times where they just get out of control and I do need to go get them done. I normally go to Ulta and have the Benefit Girls do my brows. So and then I want to try these detailing tweezers because these really have me interested in this kit. This is one of the things that I bought this kit for because I have a problem with getting really really close to my brows but not plucking the hair that I don't want to pluck. Like I always pluck the wrong one out. And as you can see these are very like sharp and pointed. Yeah they are quite sharp actually. So, getting really close to the brows. I should probably use the spoolie to comb through my brows. And if you noticed, all of these brushes are like ergonomically shaped. I don't know, that kind of weirds me out a little bit. That the brushes have like this ergonomic shape. I don't really know how to use them. Um, so that one seems to be okay. Because there are a few that are very close Ow! This is why I do this off camera. Because you'd think after years of plucking my brows, I wouldn't even be able to feel this anymore. But I do. So I like both sets of these tweezers. These were like make the kit like a solid purchase. So, and I do like the spoolie. It's really. I don't know. I like it. I 100% like the spoolie. Um, I'm not going to use this arch definer thingy because I think that's more to use with like brow powders and I use cream. First I'm going to go ahead and go in with my brow pencil like I always do and I'm going to do that off camera and this is just the NYX micro brow pencil in chocolate and then I'll come back after I've got my shape and everything in. Now forever and a year later we are back to use the Real Techniques, obviously, slanted brow brush and I'm gonna figure out how to hold this before I start putting product in my brows. I'm thinking... Okay. I don't know. I'm nervous because I've never used the like ergonomic brushes or the brushes with like the crooks in them like this. Makes me nervous. And I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Auburn. So I need a mirror. I can't. I can't. I can't just do it in the viewfinder. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is not so bad. This is actually... I actually like this brush a whole lot better than the one I've been using. Well, the one I've been using is like... six years old. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's not double-ended, so I have to go back and pick up the spoolie. Which again, I'm not really sure and got to hold. 
So instead of just flipping the brush over, I have to pick up a whole nother tool, which is really just me being nitpicky, I suppose. It's not really that big of a deal. I really do like the way this is distributing product, though. So I am just realizing that I never told you guys how much this kit costs and where I found mine. I found mine at Kohl's a couple of days ago, and all five of these items and the hard carry case were $20, which is a really good deal when you think about it because you're getting two sets of tweezers in here, and that can cost you between $10 and $20 for a really nice pair of tweezers. I know Tweezerman tweezers are quite up there in price, and you are getting two really good quality sets of tweezers in this kit. And then, not to mention, you are getting three different brushes. And I know the Anastasia brushes are like 20 bucks for their double-ended brow brush. And Real Techniques charges anywhere from like $6.99 to $10.99 for their individual brushes. And you're getting essentially three brushes in here. So this is a really good deal for $20. So I would definitely hit up wherever Real Techniques is sold in your area and get this kit. The standouts in this for me are these three right here. These detailing tweezers are great. I definitely needed something to get really close to my brow and really just be able to get those stray hairs that just don't fit in with everything else. But this spoolie and this angle brush are amazing. This makes, this crook in this handle makes it so easy to get in there and fill in your brows. And then this also makes it super easy to just comb through the brows and be able to switch from left to right because you can hold it however you need to and it's going to work. You don't have to like try to do it with your non-dominant hand. And this spoolie, I don't know what it is about this spoolie. It's a little seems to be a little bit further apart than other spoolies that I own but it just distributes product and blends product through the brow so well I think this is an amazingly done spoolie I'm excited about a spoolie brush forgive me it's it's the little things in life that get me then this angle brush is like I said the crook in it makes it super easy to apply product to the brows and it's not like a guessing game on how to hold it to apply it to my left brow and you can't you probably cannot tell with my camera I definitely would need to do a zoom or something on this which I don't have the capability to do but this brush if you can kind of see that the bristles are different lengths lengths so some are longer and some are shorter than others so and it's not as dense near the end of the bristles and I think that really helps to distribute product and I think this is the thing that finally makes dip brow work the way I want it to I mean I love the Anastasia dip brows I own two of them and I purchased them with my own money and I think they're great. They stay on my brows all day and they make my brows look the way I want them to. But with this brush, it's even better. It's amazing. I love it. And I am so excited to continue to use these brushes. So with all of that being said, this woo throwing things, this is definitely a hit for me. I love Real Techniques brushes and the price point on this for $20 is great. Um, it's affordable and you don't have to go by like crazy priced Anastasia brushes. Not that they're not great, but not everybody can afford that. So you get a great set for $20 and I really like this. I really like this set. I'm so excited to continue to use it. So with all of that being said, that sums up my review slash first impression of the Real Techniques brow set. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.